if you want. So what I did here, this is anaerobic metabolism, leads into hypoperfusion. I did it backwards, and it goes into shock, and then death. It's a Christmas tree with the X on it, all right? Anaero anaerobic metabolism, which really is shock, which anaerobic, anaerobic metabolism, my apologies, is the same thing as hypoperfusion. Hypoperfusion is just a continuation of, of anaerobic metabolism. That means that they just never stop. So if it never stops, it becomes hypoperfusion because it never stopped. It just continued. And because it never stopped, it got worse. So it, be, it, it, it morphed into something different. Hypoperfusion. And if this does it, what is this? What is hypoperfusion really? It, it's it's the, the oxygen going round and round the body, but too slow, right? And because of that, so if that continues, if blood continues to go too slow around the body, why is that a bad thing? What does that blood carry again? Oxygen. Oxygen. So we're not feeding the cells. The cells make the tissue. If the cells start dying, that means the tissue dies, right? If the tissues die, that means the organs die. If the organs die, the you dies. It starts from the inside out. It always starts from the inside out. So if hyperperfusion continues, then we just call it shock. And this is pretty much when your patients are like, like colors coming out, you see the color going out, then I not even responding. And then you know what's up. Then they go into you know death if they don't get the appropriate help. Okay, but if we're giving the appropriate help, obviously we're good. But what I want you to do right now is I want you to draw a pyramid or something like this, shock, and write shock in the very top. Okay? So I want you to write something like this. So going to the side, to the side, write shock in the very top, or do a pyramid, and then I want you to do uh under the pyramid make four labels. On the very end, I want you to put cardiogenic. Then draw a line somewhere between the, the, the tip of your pyramid and the edge, draw a line like this, put hypovolemic. Then over here on, on this side, two other ones, obstructive shock, and then at the very end, put neurogenic, okay? These are your four categories of shock, how people die, four ways they die from shock, okay? And this is pretty much all you have to really understand once you understand this, everything else just falls in place, okay? Because we understand how to make ATP, so that means we understand how life, how life is made, at, at least at that level, that deep. We also know how life is taken away, how energy is taken away, right? So now we're going to go over the four different problems that could take that energy away so we can restore the energy, okay? And after that, I'll give you guys some time. Uh, we went over sample history and vital signs. Oh, we left off of vital signs, huh? Okay. So we'll actually do that. We'll do vital signs. All right, so um, let me backtrack. Start from this side. Um, Jazz, what is hypo? Perfusion in your own words. Just tell me, even if you gotta read it, just tell me how you would tell your kid, brother, or sister. Um, doesn't it mean like it just needs to go slow? Like the, the blood is yeah. going around slower and slower, right? Yeah. Good. Brianna, what mm -hmm. does that blood carry? Oxygen. So, if hyperperfusion means the blood is going around slow. So it was not being delivered on time to the tissues, to the cells. Is that like oxygen? Oxygen, right? So what does that mean? It's hypoperfusion, right? Okay, hypoperfusion. So Brit, if I'm not delivering oxygen to the cells on time, what kind of metabolism is that? Is it? I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you options. Is it aerobic or anaerobic metabolism? If I'm doing it without oxygen, if I'm making ATP without oxygen, give her a hand. Help her out. Anaerobic. 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 Good. So, hypoperfusion means the blood is going by slow. Blood carries oxygen. So if I'm going slow, the blood's going slow, I'm not delivering the oxygen on time to the cells, which shifts my cells from making ATP with oxygen, aerobic, into anaerobic, without the oxygen, right? 
Cool. So hypoperfusion actually creates anaerobic. To me, it's the same thing. So the continuation of you follow. So the continuation of hypoperfusion, which created the anaerobic metabolism, is now called what if we let that go when the patient does not get any help. This is this the main topic of this conversation? Shock. Shock. Good. And then Anthony, if shock continues and nobody gives this patient help, what's ultimately going to happen to this patient? Death. That's death. Good. Okay, so there's four ways that that can happen. Well, we just talked about this entire process. There's four ways that can happen. Ultimately, I want you to write shock. Shock is death. I want you to remember this. Shock is shock is shock is shock. All shock means is that this equation is not happening. That's all shock means. All shock means is that oxygen and glucose are not meeting to make ATP on time. And there's four ways that can happen. The first one, that shock, shock just means ATP isn't made, on, isn't made or enough of it because glucose and O2 are meeting. Cardiogenic, card, card E or card O, heart. So if it's cardiogenic shock, what do you think the problem is? What is, what is preventing the oxygen from flowing to the tissue? Lord. Something in the heart. Darn. Easy, right? So it's a pump problem. We're like vehicles, we're biological machines. So it's a pump problem. So we know the heart, so we need to address the heart, right? What does hypo mean again? It's slowing down. Good. If somebody else, volume. If you see volume, if I, if I say volume, what do you think? If I were to say it, volume, it's volume. Or anybody, volume? Blood. The amount or something. Blood, amount, right? So flu fluid. What carries the oxygen? We have to know what we're talking about. We're talking about, ta about, about shock. The only things involved with shock are the blood that carry that, the vessels where the blood flows through, the pump that pumps that fluid to get that oxygen to where it has to go. That's pretty much it, the fluid itself. So this right here, cardiogenic shock, this really, oops, um, it's a pump problem. I'm not gonna mess with it. But this is a pump problem. So I don't, if that makes you remember it better, put pump. If I hear hypovolemic, hypo-low volemic volume, low volume, low blood. That means that for some reason, either someone's bleeding externally, so they lost blood, and now th that red blood cells that are on the ground are supposed to carry the oxygen. Well, guess what? Now we don't have a vehicle the Ubers to carry the oxygen. So now the shock is being created because the patient might be breathing good, but guess what? There's not enough blood in the system to carry that oxygen. So that's a, and now it's a volume problem, it's a fluid problem. 